Welcome back to Moo Moo Math. We are looking at quadratics today and we're looking at the equations in vertex form and we're looking at what transformations are occurring to the parent function y equals x squared. Okay, or f of x equals x squared. So here's our first one. We have y is equal to 2x minus 9 squared plus 3. Well, as we've learned, our skeleton equation is a equals x minus h uh, squared plus k, where a is a stretch or shrink, h is a horizontal shift, and k is a vertical shift. So I'm going to draw these here. This is going to be a stretch taller or a uh, shrink, which makes the parabola wider. Okay, so that's what each one does. So a makes it skinnier or fatter, H is a left-right shift and K is an up-down shift. So let's look at what we have here. Okay, A in this case is 2. So if you have a value of 2, that means we're going to have a stretch of 2. It's going to make it taller and skinnier. Okay, our H value is positive 9. Even though it's got X minus 9, the equation is X minus H, so that means H must be positive 9. And that means it's got a horizontal shift of positive 9, which means it's moving to the right 9. And then the vertical shift, it keeps the same sign. So it's a positive 3, and that's a vertical shift. So that means I'm going up by the value of 3. So in other words, my vertex is going to be at 9, comma 3. And it's going to be stretched nice and skinny. So I can get a lot of information from here. So let's look at a second one, okay? Our a value is negative 4 sevenths. Our x, uh, our h, hmm, what's being added to x in the parentheses? Nothing, so it's 0. And our k is a negative 6. So let, now let's apply our transformations. What does a negative do? Well, a negative reflects the parabola. So now it's a down-facing parabola instead of an up-facing parabola. 4 sevenths tells us that it shrinks, which means it's going to be a little bit fatter than the parent function. Okay, the horizontal shift, there's none, so there's no horizontal shift. And then a vertical shift of negative 6, which means it's going to go down 6. So that means my vertex is at hk, which is 0, comma, negative 6, and it's going to be da facing down and kind of fat. So there you go. So it's going to, if I were just to sketch it, I would draw 0, negative 6, and it'd be a down facer kind of wide, like that. Okay? So there you go. There's some transformations. Now let's look at a second way to look at those. What if you're given descriptions and you have to write the equation? Okay, so for example, this says we're shifting up 21, we're stretching by a factor of 4 thirds, and we've shifted right 15. Okay, so let's identify our A, H, and K. A is our stretch or shrink, so that means it's going to be 4 thirds. Our H is our left and right shift. Okay, so that means H is a positive 15, because it says right 15. And then K is our vertical shift up or down, and we have an up 21, so it's a positive 21. Now all we have to do for vertex form is plug it into the vertex equation, which is Y equals A parentheses X minus H quantity squared plus K. So let's plug in A, H, and K, so that's 4 thirds times X minus 15. Notice this is positive 15 is my H, but in the equation it's a negative squared plus 21, and this is an equation, so I always have to put equals y or equals, in this case, I'm going to call it f of x. Okay, so always make it into an equation, and that is our equation in vertex form. Now, we are going to do some converting in a few minutes from vertex to standard, but really, to, in this video, I just want to make sure you know how to write it in vertex form. Hope this video was helpful.